Live from the internet, it's the Dr. Tom the Frog Show! Hi-ho, this is Dr. Tom the Frog, and you're watching the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, where we talk about role-playing games! I am super excited because today we have on uh, from Broken Rules Games. He makes games with broken rules. It's the Warden. How are you, the Warden? Namaste, Dr. Tom. It's very good to see you. Thank you very much for having me on your show. I, I, I'm so excited to have you. No, I got to say, where, where, where are you, Warden? Because they're looking pretty classy there. Oh, this is just, it's just my office. This is just the place where I come to and, and break out some of the ideas. Um, it's just a, it's just a cozy little corner of the estate that I live in. Um, however, I'm also legally obliged to mention that this is actually where I work. I work at a ski resort uh, just uh, in uh, Calabogie, Ontario. And so I've actually uh, taken over the facilities and decided to kind of class this up a little bit for you, Dr. Tom. So because it is the Dr. Tom show and not the Mr. Tom show. I didn't go. I didn't go to Frog Doctor School for seven years for for the mystery. Yeah, so I appreciate that, the warden. <laughs> now, I, I got to be honest. Um, now, does does all work and no play make uh, make you a, an a, an angry boy? Uh, no. If anything, I probably am guilty of too much play. Uh, I have the advantage where I work of being a graphic designer, social media specialist. Um, so I literally play on Facebook all day and play around with graphics. It's something that very much comes in handy. Um, the irony is, is that my work on Killshot actually helped me get this job at a family-friendly ski resort. Um, it was a rather interesting interview, and I think it's very much a, a testament to my BS skills. <laughs> oh, that's good. I, I, you, so you have a, a degree in BS. That's fantastic. It's more of kind of like a street school level of, you know, I basically kind of work my way up, you know, through the sewers, you know, and getting myself up to that really professional grade BS. But unfortunately, I don't have a diploma that anybody knows of. <laughs> oh, man. So so just so I'm clear, the ski lodge, you have not seen any twins and no one's riding around on big wheels, correct? No, uh, no, definitely not with the big wheels. Uh, and anytime I do see twins, unfortunately, it's during the dead of winter and Canadian winters. So they're they're really bundled up. Uh, now you've got a new game that's coming out. Um, I, I understand it's about making screen doors um, or screening your calls. Can you tell me more about that? Uh, it's called Screenplay, and it's actually it's a storytelling RPG. Um, but we might add an appendix on there for screen door creation. We, you know, we'll kind of see how the playtesting goes. Uh, we're going to be on October 20th. We're going to be releasing what's called the rehearsal edition, which is basically a playtest edition of screenplay. Um, the idea behind it is that it's a, an open storytelling RPG um, where basically the players are just as involved in the creation of the story as uh, the GM or the director is. So basically everyone is contributing equally to the creation of a story. It's something I've been working on for a couple of years now, and we're finally at that part where I think we have enough that we can throw it out there and let everyone literally try and break it apart so we can put it back together for a finished release, hopefully for 2016. Oh, wow. Now, you know, if you if you put that on, on Kickstarter, you could have you could have screenplay shirts, you could have T-shirts, and they could be screen printed. Oh, that is very true. That is very true. I think with this one, what we're all, what I want to try and do with this is to keep screenplay itself. Um, we're not going to necessarily kickstart that, but I have definitely thought about going that route with High Plane Samurai, which is basically screenplay on acid, I think is the best way to put it, because uh, this is a very specific, uh, High Plane Samurai is basically how screenplay came about, and it is a Western wushu uh, meets the X-Men uh, post-apocalyptic Mad Max mashup. Um, that we've been playtesting, and that one I'm thinking of going to Kickstarter. So in that case, we could definitely go with the screenplay, screen printed T-shirts. I I love I love that. That needs that needs to be a thing that happens. Now, be careful. It sounds the, the High Plains Samurai. I have to say, it, it sounds like something that's that's out from the far west. So let's make sure that it comes out, okay? Yes. Oh, yeah. No, that is totally the plan. Even then, too, High Plains Samurai was created for uh, my development team, the people who helped me make Killshot. Um, 
it, they went through a lot of arduous, you know, back and forth and testing different versions of the rules. So when the time came that Killshot was done and out and released, I basically said to them, "Is like, okay, because you spent the last two years playing my game, now I want to play what you want to play. So if I don't come out with it, I'm pretty sure I will be found dead in the trunk of a car. So for my own safety, it, it will be coming out for sure. All right. Good call. Because I really don't want to read a st I don't really read much news about Canada, uh, but I'm sure that that would make the news if you were found dead in a car. It's true. It would be one of the three murders that we have, you know, in a year. So it, it's pretty headline making up around here. I'm curious here now, if people are interested in screenplay, how is it they can get the play test uh, edition, the rehearsal edition in their grubby hands or uh, or webbed hands as it may be? <laughs> well, it's going to be coming out October 20th. It's the tentative date right now. Uh, so with, uh, with, with fingers or webs crossed, everything is going to be coming out by October 20th. Basically, what's going to happen is it's going to be available for free to download off of RPG Now and Drive Through RPG. Um, and then when that happens, that's going to be version 1.1. And my plan is to, on you know, an almost weekly basis, to take the feedback that people are going to be giving through uh, a Google form survey, uh, online forums, and uh, a Google Plus community, uh, to basically take the feedback, to make revisions, throw that back out there. What we're also going to be doing is we're going to be doing something that's very much like a Kickstarter, but it's not going to cost anybody any money, in that the amount of feedback that you provide, whether or not you simply read and, and provide feedback, or you actually play, or you actually direct a story using screenplay, you'll start to receive a certain number of points, and those points will become accumulated to unlock certain rewards. Um, they'll also allow us to kind of unlock additional content for people to play test. So we're going to be doing kind of like a play tester Kickstarter, like literally like squeeze together mashup crown of insanity thing. We're still working out the particulars on it, but basically it's going to be free that people can go uh, to RPG Now or Drive Through RPG, or they can go right to uh, the Broken Ruler Games website, which is brokenrulergames.net, on October twentieth. More than welcome to go and check things out in advance because I'm obviously in I'm in the teasing phase. I'm basically plugging away and getting everyone to know what to expect when it comes out. Very cool. I you know uh, my production assistant monkey. He's already checked out uh, some of the high plane samurai and and that's that's using some of the same. That looks pretty cool. I got to tell you, he's he's pretty excited about it. So that's fantastic. October twentieth. Uh, this episode's a little bit before that, so we'll, we'll whet uh, more appetites. Uh, all right. Now, uh, all right, Todd. I've got I've got a serious question for you. Now, are you ready for a serious question? Okay, I'm in my serious mode. Oh, Go wow, ahead. That, that that is pretty serious. Okay. <laughs> all right. If you had to choose one villain to be your nemesis, who would it be? I would definitely go with Magneto. And I want to stipulate, I want to go with young Magneto, like the Michael Fosbender version, because my wife has a serious crush on him. And I think nothing would motivate me more to fight him as a villain than having my wife with like a serious girl crush on him. So I would definitely go with young Magneto from uh, the X-Men movies. Man, do you do you aim high? I have to say, it's you know what it's it just comes with the territory. Unfortunately, like I said, you work at a ski resort, everything is working on high. <laughs> I ski lodge Uber. I love it. Oh man! Well, I got to tell you, Warden, it was fantastic. I was super excited to have you on, and I look forward to uh, to trying out screenplay. Thank you for coming on. No problem. Thanks for having me. Just watch the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, and we hope that you liked what you saw, yo. But if it was a big waste of your time, well, it's free, so that's not a crime. But if it was a waste of your time, yes, it's free, so that's not a crime.